No, brother, we're going to do something. Well, when I was a, a young fellow, see, I, I was uh, isolated here in, in Woodway. I see people painting their houses. And I used to save the pill bottles, you know, from my grandfather's pill bottles. And I take the pill bottles and I go around to the different foot painters and I say, paint your house that color. Can I borrow a bit of that paint? No, boy, what do you think of that? That's coming, isn't it? And when I was growing up, Newfoundland had lots of character and everything like that in old stages and the smell of the fish flakes and the and the, and the, the blasty bows on the, on, on the flakes for putting the fish and everything. It's all great, but if you, you know, like, and I did all that stuff, and I still do it. But now, for some reason, like I told you about the color, I just can't help it. I'm 70, 71 years old now, and I freaking love color. I think with all that pain and all that color, it gives me a fantastic relief when I'm finished. To start something and see it finished with color in it. Like when I do that, there, I never see a, a, a lupins in Fogel. But when I finish that painting, I'm going to smear that with lupins where I can put it. There's a narrative behind everything he makes that has interest. He travels around Newfoundland. He has his favorite haunts. In places that he will travel and paint, he will often know and choose to paint houses by very well-known Newfoundlanders who have had or contributed significantly to the culture of Newfoundland. His work has gotten much more bold and larger in recent years. Oh, it's very bright, it's very exciting. His skies have gotten a lot more bold. Uh, his palettes are so more vibrant nowadays. He'll use straight pigment right out of the tube and, and just do, he's so excited when he does that. Look at that. There's something. Bang, look. That's the way you do it. You're not worried, see? Give it to her. Look. See all that color? <laughs> now, brother, watch. Look, that's the hills behind that house. Look. I describe my work as a, like as a fantasy thing. You know, it's always in my head. Like this morning, for example, I was half asleep and half awake. I was painting. I was mixing my paint up here in my head. What color I was going to use today and all that kind of stuff. How I was going to inspire it with you, whether I was going to pull it off or whether I was going to destroy it. You know, I was thinking about that this morning. But my style has really changed over the years. Like it's more impressionistic, more free. You know, like if you paint with a brush all the time, I, I can do a whole painting with a... Look at that, now it's coming, brother. Look, that's hills, isn't it? 